Hello everyone, my name is Ashutosh Bhogna. I am working as a scientist with the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. In this session, we will discuss about the cyber security incident handling and role of the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. So, before going into the details of the incident handling life cycle, let's have a look at the framework or methods which can be adopted by the incident handlers in responding to the cyber incidents. So, this is the cyber kill chain. It's developed by Lockheed Martin and uh, the cyber kill chain framework is used for identification and uh, prevention of cyber intrusion activities. So, this is the model what the attacker must complete in order to achieve their objective. So, this is the what the attacker do in cyber incidents. This is the flow. So, the attacker start with the recon phase in which they do the activities like uh, gathering information about the target like uh, harvesting email addresses of the employee, information about the target servers, infrastructures and things like that. After that based on that collected information attacker move to the weaponization phase in which the attacker couple the exploit with backdoor into the payload which can be delivered to the target. Then the third phase is the delivery. So attacker device a method to deliver it to the target by using a email, web or USB or convincing the target to click on some link. So that exploit with the backdoor is delivered to the victim in this phase followed by the exploitation. So that exploit will exploit a vulnerability to execute the code on victim systems and a victim infrastructure. That will move to the then installing malware on the asset, malware on the target. So the attacker this phase will install the malware on the target and the command and control server, the channel will be created which allow the manipulation of the victim. So from there attacker can pass the command and control machines in the infrastructure of a target. And finally the actions on objectives that means what the attacker wish to achieve the defacement, the taking out the sensitive data from the organization, planting the key loggers there, moving to the critical assets and doing the destructions. So this is the attacker methodology. So this framework can be used by incident handler when they are doing the analysis. When they are investigating any incident they can map it to the, these phases. Another framework is the Mitre attack framework. This uh, Mitre attack framework is a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and tactics based on real world observation. So they created this based on the real world incidents. The attack knowledge base is used as a foundation for the development of specific threat models and methodologies in the private sector, in government and in the cyber security product and service community. So this knowledge base can be used as a foundation. Mitre attack framework also used in incident investigation and preparation of incident reports. So our interest is on the how we can use the Mitre attack framework when we are doing the incident investigation and that framework also help us to prepare the incident reports. So this is the attack matrix. So if you see there is an initial access. How attacker got an initial access into the target infrastructure, target network. Then execution, then persistence, then privilege escalation and things like that uh, is there. How they done the defense evasion, credential access, discovery. Then the attacker did the lateral movement to the critical device. Then collection and exploitation of the data and setup of the command and control. So, if we investigate any incident, attack metric, attack matrix can be used for preparing investigation of the incident, preparation of the report. Now, what is the computer security incident response team? A computer security incident response team is an organizational entity assigned with the responsibility to coordinate the response to a computer security event or incident. If some event, alert or incident is there, then this team 
need to respond to that incident. The goal of this team is to minimize and control the damage resulting from the cyber incident, provide effective guidance for response and recovery activities, and work to prevent future incidents from happening. So generally, computer security incident response teams have a security analyst, incident handlers, network and system administrators, and information security officers. So this created a computer security incident response team. What types of activities CSIRT do is this is from the Carnegie Mellon University. There is a reactive services, proactive services, in security quality management services by CSIR. So in reactive services means after post incident. So alerts and warnings are issued by CSIRT, incident handling, incident analysis, incident response on site. The team may have to go to the site where the incident happened. Incident response support to provide uh, to the victim Incident response coordination, that coordination with external and internal uh, agencies they have to do. Vulnerability handling, if there is any vulnerability, weakness reported, they have to do the, that analysis. They have to respond to that vulnerability and uh, the required coordination need to be done. Artifact handling, artifact analysis, response and the coordination. These are the reactive services. In proactive services, CSIRT do the announcements, technology watch, what type of threats are going around, security audits or assessment of website and infrastructure, configuration and maintenance of security tools, application and infrastructures, development of any security tool, intrusion detection services, if that intrusion is detected, that need to be uh, responded security related information dissemination if there is any news any thing that information that update is provided by the CSIRT team. In security quality management domain generally CSIRT do the risk analysis, business continuity and disaster recovery planning, security consulting, awareness building, conducting training and awareness program and doing the product evaluation or the certification. So CSIRT, the core activity of CSIRT is to respond to the cyber security incident. So incident handling life cycle is crucial for the CSIRT operations. So these are the incident handling phase phases which includes the data analysis, resolution, research, action proposed, action perform, eradication and recovery. These phases are come into the incident handling. So data analysis and the investigation of the incident followed with the resolution how it can be resolved then there is a proposed action, action need to be performed and eradication and recovery from the incident. This is the incident and in life cycle. So they, there are three phases. First is the detection followed by the triage and then response. So detection, how you detect the incident, how CSIRT will detect the incident, it can be through the email, from the phone, from the different sources, websites, or it can be from the internal sources like the events, logs, alerts from the IDS, IPS, firewalls logs, or from the external sources such as the computer emergency response team, technology watch, and the network monitoring that will provide uh, information about the event or uh, alert to the CSIRT team. Then they have to do the tries. Tries means that they have to prioritize, the team have to prioritize the incident in which order they will handle the incident. What incident is the most critical need to be handled first. So the tries will be done. If there is a more information is required, then the information will be requested from the parties. Vulnerability report will be prepared, which vulnerability is exploited in the incident. The incident report will be prepared based on that analysis and then the resolution and the escalation in the response phase will be conducted by the CSIRT team. There is the information classification which is used by the CSIRT across the globe and that is the traffic light protocol TLP. 
and it's the used to ensure that sensitive information is shared with appropriate audience only and it's provided simple and intuitive schema for indicating when and how sensitive information can be shared with whom you can share this information about an incident or the content of an email or a document attached with the email. Employees four color to indicate expected sharing boundaries to be applied by the recipient. So what are the four colors indicating here is the TLP red that means the traffic light protocol red, traffic light protocol amber, traffic light protocol green, traffic light protocol white. So traffic light protocol white means if you are labeling something as a TLP white that means disclosure is not limited that means the recipient of that information can share this information over the public domain or the information is available for a public consumption. If there is a TLP green, so that information can only be shared with the community or to community means to that specific sector or to that community of the cert or that forum. TLP amber, if some information and document is marked with TLP amber, that means that limited disclosure restricted to participants organization only. So you are only allowed to share that information within your organization only. You should not share that or information outside your organization. TLP red, if something email or a document or information is marked with TLP red, that means not for disclosure, restricted to participants only. So if something is marked TLP red, it's only only for you and you are not should not share it with any other person. Another tool used by the CSIRT in incident handling is the PGP and that is the encryption program that provides cryptographic privacy, integrity and authentication for data communication. So if you are receiving an email from a national cert, how you will verify whether this email is really from the national cert. So PGP is there to help you. You can verify the signature email signed by the national cert. You can verify the fingerprint key ID from the website of the cert. So this is for that communication purpose when you are sharing sensitive information, security incident related or breach related things you should use the PGP to encrypt the information, to sign the emails, files the directories and to share so that that trust can be verified. And now uh, let's see the uh, role of a national cert in India in the, in the cyber security domain. So CERTIN was established in January 2004 and it's a functional organization under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. So CERT is enabled under the Section 70B of Information Technology Act and this is a national nodal agency to respond to the cyber security threats and the roles and responsibility are listed here and the primary focus is on the responding to the cyber security incidents and cyber security threats and uh, provide the forecast and alerts of cyber security incidents, conduct the cyber security exercises conduct the assurance activities at a national level. So certain capabilities include the response to security incidents, analysis of security incidents, tracking vulnerabilities and threats, issuing advisories, vulnerability notes, alerts, risk assessment, tracking and carrying out analysis of the botnets and malware, tracking of website defacements in India, tracking of open proxy servers, botnets and providing the mitigation to them. Certain is promoting the best practices in for securing web server, improving the cyber security posture of an organization, recommending various standards and framework in cyber security and information security, antivirus best practices, securing home computers, platform specific guidelines, parameter security guidelines, these things are promoted and shared by the CERT. CERT having a cooperation and collaboration at an international level with the vendors, with the various forum to respond to the cyber security incident. So cyber security threat landscape is the, is the dynamic 
in nature and evolving and changing on a daily basis. So what we have today is that attack target is the critical infrastructure of a nation's business intelligence, uh, PII, personally identifiable inf information of individuals. So the attack motives are the, like a disruption of services in critical infrastructure, like a energy blackout, cyber espionage, taking out the confidential sensitive information from organization, financial frauds, so attacks, actors who are conducting these attacks, uh, the nation states, cyber criminals, hacker groups and sometimes the malicious insiders. Attack factors and mediums used are the botnets, vulnerability and exploit toolkits, social engineering techniques and the ignorant users. Certain is also conducting the remote profiling in which the CERT as a red team is profiling doing the assessment of critical or the government sector infrastructure and it's not to replace audit but just to give a picture about the security posture of the target organization. Cyber crisis management plan at a national level to handle the incident cyber crisis situation is implemented by uh, CERTIN and is helping and enabling the entity uh, across different sectors, different states, so that they can create their own plan and improve their existing cyber security posture. So incident reporting, the CERT operate on 24 cross 7, 365 days. There are a incident at certain.org.in this email ID, the organization or the victims can report the incident, email, fax, telephone, and there is an incident reporting form is available at certain website. The vulnerability can, if you identify any vulnerability, any issue, security, security issue, then it can be also reported to the certain. So there are various activities taken to mitigate the threats like uh, cyber security exercises at a national level, sector level, bilateral between the countries and at a multilateral where the various certs of various countries participated. So it's a confidence building and learning exercise based on simulated cyber incident scenario that resemble occurrence of a national cyber crisis, national cyber security crisis. So these exercises are conducted which help us to assess and improve our preparedness. Then the impanelment of the skilled and qualified IT security auditing organization impaneled after their skill assessment test and it's the on a continuous basis their assessment is done and the assurance is built for their skills can be used for the auditing in government and critical sectors. So and then there is a cyber crisis management plan is put up in a place. Botnet tracking, cleaning and takedown activities, malware and artifact analysis is performed website tracking for defacement and investigation of the logs, how the attacker, which vulnerability attacker exploit, how the attacker is able to penetrate into the website or a network. Network behavior analysis such as DDoS attack, virus, bomb, infection. Vulnerability tracking and analysis. Security compliance enabling as well as self-assessment tools are created which can be used by organization to self-assess their posture and improve their cyber security preparedness. Regular training and awareness program are being conducted to sensitize user on a need for implementation of best, best practices. Efforts are also being made for creating a security tips for end user at a time of purchase and maintaining the desktop, laptop, mobile, USB devices. So defense and mitigating factors against the cyber threats are security policies and procedures having a CSIRT, Computer Security Incident Response Team, have a CISO, Chief Information Security Officer, build a human defense, enable, create awareness within the organization. Multi-layer defense mechanism, defense in depth approach should be applied. Network behavior analysis need to be done, proxy logs, parameter defenses, security information and event management, SIM and security operation centers can be implemented, database activity monitoring, update and patching of the application, host-based intrusion prevention system can be implemented. 
and the data leak prevention systems can be implemented in our organization and for the information sharing there need to be set up a protocol and a procedures in place authentication of email using the pgp and digital signature need to be used and uh, build a user awareness so in this session we have discussed about the process of incident handling we have seen the various frameworks like a cyber kill chain and mitre attack framework which can be used by the incident handlers we have discussed the role of indian computer emergency response team which is a national nodal agency to respond to the cyber security incident thank you